Hey, it's Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms and uh, doing another modification to the L LSXR4140 tractor that we picked up recently. Been trying to put some toolboxes, uh, just make it a little more useful around the farm. Not that it's not useful, it's been a great tractor so far. But uh, one thing that I've kind of read and uh, seen some videos on YouTube about is as far as a toolbox, or in my case, uh, chains, if to, you know, to carry chains around with me, is uh, this little round area, little, little circle that's in the lift, you can take PVC and uh, make a little toolbox. Like I said, in my case, I'm gonna use it for keeping chains in there. And, you know, it slides right in, works perfect. It's a three and a half inch hole on the LS tractor, on the LL4104 loader, which is what I've got. Uh, Kubota, John Deere, some of the other brands. I don't know if the size is the same or not, but uh, it's probably gonna be close. You just kind of measure it a little bit. So I got the, I got the, the pipe, I cut it out and I put it in there. I got these uh, little grippers. You can get these at Home Depot and Lowe's. I got them at Lowe's, but I have seen them at my local Home Depot. And I put them in there. Seen a couple of people talk about it. Well, the thing about it is you put them in there and uh, they're a three inch. This is a three and a half inch. So this thing just slides back and forth and uh, really doesn't do a whole lot. So I've been trying to figure out what to do and I came up with an idea I saw one video, a, a guy had used some mud flaps that he had laying around for a truck. And I didn't have any mud flaps laying around, but it kind of, you know, I was kind of thinking there's some kind of O-ring or gasket I need. So what I did is I went to uh, our local Lorsland store. They're clearancing everything out now anyway, so things are super cheap. They're turning into a tractor supply. And I bought a inner tube for a wheelbarrow. Uh, it's three and a half inches, so basically this was a four, four and a half inch tire, so it would be bigger, big enough. And I took this apart. I cut a hole in the center of it that's uh, basically just about the size of a little hump on this side. Cut it out around the edge. Uh, I need to probably trim it up a little bit, but right now I'm just kind of driving it around to make sure that everything works. But uh, once you put them in, it doesn't go anywhere. Same thing with the other side. You get them in and uh, it holds it in place. They're easy to take in and out. Uh, the pipe was cut just a hair longer than the, uh, than the length of the loader. That way I can kind of get it in and angle it a little bit. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this in while I'm holding the, the camera because it does kind of take two hands sometimes. Otherwise, it just wants to spin. But once you get this in and it locks in there, I've been driving this around for two weeks now, and it is not going anywhere. So uh, easy way to do it. Keep some chains with you. You can keep some tools in there. Uh, I don't know, maybe hide your whiskey in there if uh, wife doesn't uh, doesn't know you're, you've got it. But Although probably not a good idea if you're, you know, working out on the farm. But anyway... It's uh, Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms. Uh, hope this helped you out. If you enjoyed it, if it helped you, consider subscribing to our channel. Maybe leaving us a like, comment. Everything is appreciated. Share it with your friends. And it helps the channel grow. Until next time, have a great day.